Okay, we agreed that we have the key to heaven, the poor, the sick, the hungry, the thirsty, the stranger, and the prisoner. When you deal with them, you should have wisdom. Wisdom is many things. The first thing is studying the need. Why? There is a big problem we have. To make our conscience feel better, we assume that we have done what is required from us when we give some money to someone in the street. You know well that this did not fulfill any need. It is like giving a very sick person one tablet of antibiotics. It is, this is not enough. It will not save him. We do not study the needs of the group we are going to help. We should not only ask about the patient, we have to make sure that he is receiving good medical care. We need to make sure that he repents and is ready to meet God. We need to give him love before he dies if we have nothing else to do. The poor person does not only need food. He needs to be prepared for heaven and to learn how to live and work. Wisdom is studying the needs. But the superficial solutions that most of us and most of the charity organizations do are not wise. This is just numbing our conscience. If I love someone truly, I have to think about how to radically change his life. Wisdom also should be shown in priorities. If I have few capabilities, you should think about which one will be served first. Also, we should have wisdom in finding radical solutions, like the Good Samaritan. He did not put oil on the man and go away. This could have been just postponing his death. Instead, he took him and paid money for his treatment. This was a radical solution. Wisdom also is working together. Fulfilling all the needs can never be done alone. We need collaboration with others. We need these poor people. It is not the poor who need them, but they need the poor. When you bring a servant to serve the poor or strangers or the sick, you are giving him the gift of his life, the key to heaven. I remember someone once told me, I am indebted to this man because he brought me to serve the poor. What he did for me was the most precious gift I ever received in my life. This man has a correct understanding because his eyes are on heaven. Wisdom also is in following up on the person. Is he okay now? Does he go to church? Is he working and providing for his family? Is he now able to stand on two feet? We need to follow up on what we have done and not to numb our feelings. Also, wisdom is finding the practical solution. James said, if a brother or sister is naked and destitute of daily food, and one of you says to them, depart in peace, be warmed and filled, but you do not give them the things which are needed for the body, what does it profit? That's James 2, 15 and 16. What is the benefit of telling people to go and eat and be warmed without giving them food and blankets? It's like when we tell beggars, may God give you. 